Wuhan is the capital of Hubei province. With a population of 10.7 million, it's a booming megalopolis lying at the confluence of the Yangtze River and its longest tributary, the Hanjiang. Five and a half hours on the high-speed train from Beijing, and you'll find yourself swept up in the ancient yet youthfully beating heart of the country. Because of its pivotal role in domestic transport, Wuhan has been nicknamed the Chicago of China. I wonder if breakfast is a big thing in Chicago, though, because here in Wuhan, it's almost a felony to miss it. It's by far the one critical meal of the day, so rather than skip it in a rush, locals have refined the concept of brekkie on the go. I'm told that there are over 200 different types of breakfasts you can savor in Wuhan, which means six months of never having to repeat eat. And the best thing? Roadside vendors are everywhere. So if you have the coordination to slurp standing, do it proudly. Or if you prefer, doggy bag it. Really, there's no excuse. Even if morning mealtime is over, don't fear. There's Hubu Alley for all-day Wuhan breakfast. Unsurprisingly, gorging yourself silly here is one of the top things to do. I mean, what is life without food? Kubu Alley is a 150 meter long snack street, congested with mouth-watering smells and salivating people, myself included. As a tourist attraction, prices are often double those of a hawker's, but it's a one-stop shop for instant gastronomic satiation. This is Doupi, one of Wuhan's most popular breakfasts. You might think it looks rather heavy for the first meal of the day, but this ritual of chowing down on calorific breakfasts actually developed from needing the energy to do hard yakka at the nearby port. Port laborers never had the time to sit down either, and hence the habit of takeaway. But rest assured, speed does not compromise flavor in Wuhan. Apparently, this gentleman's family has been in the Dolby business for decades and decades, so I've got high expectations.